I welcome you to this evening's lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Manene na manene gazisi an bingele la gulob suba na musa gulo nkulumoye chinoma isfundo siga wonke siga master uching hai. The lecture is entitled The Golden Age Begins with Ourselves Through Direct Contact with God. Master Ching Ai is a spiritual leader whose teachings are very simple and practical. Her message is one of unconditional love and compassion for all sentient beings. She teaches the Kuan Yin method, which is the ancient science of enlightenment and the divine art of self-realization. This method involves meditation on the inner celestial light and sound. Ladies and gentlemen, you may ask, what impact has this philosophy has on us in South Africa? What is the answer? I believe the greater part of the answer is in enlightenment. May the wisdom and teachings of the Supreme Master Ching Hai illuminate our heart. Gentlemen, please welcome the Supreme Master Ching Hai. Master Chingai, thank you for coming to Durban to grace us with your presence. The Surya Langa Dance Company will now escort you down to your chair before they perform a dance for you. We will now have the Surya Langa Dance Company from the University of Durban, Westfall, who will now perform an Afro-Indian dance. On behalf of the Surya Langa Dance Company from the University of Durban Westfall, we cannot say how honored we feel to be able to present such a dance as a gift of art to the Supreme Master Ching Hai.
The theme of the dance is great confusion and the only thing that stills the confusion is one dancer seeing the self in the other. Supreme Master, we present you a gift of art in an African dream. Master,
Thank you very much, Surya Dance Company. We now will have our Supreme Master, Ching Hai, to address us. <laughs> Thank you so much for this extraordinary dance. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Is that African? African dance? Looks looks like heaven's dance. <laughs> So beautiful, so beautiful. Did you enjoy? <laughs> I must have tried hard to be African. <laughs> they bought the, the clothes, the three sizes bigger than me. But <laughs> Sorry, I don't make a good uh, representation of uh, African, but this is as good as I can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the African system brother, generous. I think they wish me get a little bit more developed. Uh, <laughs> no, I think they wish me get a little bit more developed. I think they wish me get a little bit more developed. I think they wish me Am I supposed to start now? It's okay, okay, right? okay. Okay. <laughs> no more dance, right? No no more more dance. Dance. So, wow. It could go on forever. It's beautiful. <laughs> when, yes. When we look at the old tradition, the the rituals and the customs of all the countries. We can, we can almost guess where we came from. And all the dance, or the music, the songs. We must come from heaven. Because in the golden age, Everyone wears similar to those costumes. And uh, walk the way of the cloud, you know. <laughs> Before we walk as if we dance, we talk as if we sing. We look, we look at each at each other as if we are falling in love. And that's the way of heaven. So, uh, if we look at the old custom and the old tradition, old habits, we must know that we came from heaven. There's Beyond. nowhere else we can come from. <laughs> They say that I know everything, but I don't think I know how to fix this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, when we uh, when we are able to reconnect ourselves or remember ourselves as member of the celestial royalty, then oh. we will know 
that we really have a very, very glorious, um, glorious uh, origin. And but now, because uh, many of us have forgotten how to reconnect ourselves, how to remember our origin, therefore we, we kind of lost in this planet, and we think this is our, ourselves. The body is us, and whatever we think, whatever we do, that's us. For the people who are fortunate, they can also live in both the worlds at the same time, just like the ancient masters. They can exist in, the, in this physical planet as well as in the higher dimension of the kingdom of God. Actually, all of us, all of us can do this. Not only the ancient masters, all of us can do this. Many of the Indian masters still can do this. Many of the yogis can do this. And many of us, in the Western world and Asian world, Oriental world, can do this. And yeah, we're translated. <laughs> In the ancient Thank time, uh, because uh, of the secrecy and the inconvenience of transportation as well as uh, communication, this kind of practice has been kept more or less a mystery. Uh, um, yes, a mystery. But nowadays, because we have access to all kind of uh, open public uh, all kind of public um, communication as well as uh, very fast transportation. So today, in this age, there are countless of beings, countless of people who have access, access to this way of life, to the way of, of a normal life, of the life we should live, a life of celestial being as well as human being. And when we are able to visit heaven at will, we will lose all the attachment for this world. At that time, we do not need to keep the commandments. The commandments become our life. We do not uh, need to read the Bible, the Bible become our way of living. And we will see that no matter how beautiful the dress, how beautiful the furniture, how beautiful the possession we have in this world is nothing compared to the real, the real property, the real 
life that we have in the celestial dimension. No man the real home. Noma ngabe izimpahla noma izingube sizembethe zingaba zindle kangakanani zikwebezele zibe nobukhazikhazi obungakanani kodwa ke singekwazi ukuthi ke zinqobe lo mphefumulo noma ubuthina That's why many of the masters or the spiritual practitioners of the old time as well as now once they have the taste of heaven or contact with heaven uh, on a daily basis they have no more desire for whatever the, the most appealing things in this world and we call them the renunciate but they are renunciate by nature they are not forced themselves to do that or they do not do that just because the bible says so or because the scripture says so ngakho ke namuhla ke noma emandulo o master ubathi bangezwa la ukuthi ke bathole inkanuko yasezulwini noma ke ukuthi ke bazwe kancane okwasezulwini abazi basafuna ukuba la emhlabeni ngoba ke bese bese bathathekile yilokho okwasezulwini when jesus was when jesus was uh, among us he didn't even have shoes he did not care not because he couldn't afford shoes he has disciples and of course disciples would have done everything at all to make the master's life more comfortable but he did not care for that of course if he has he could care but he did not want to care ngengathi ke ujesu ke enathi wayengenazo ngishigathulo hayi ngoba wayengekwazi ukuzithenga kodwa ngoba wayengena ndaba nazo futhi ke wayi nabalandeli noma abafundi bakhe labafundi bakho babekwazi ukwenza noma ngabe yini babe ngakwazi ukuthi bamakhele igathulo kodwa ke ngokuthi ke wayengena ndaba ke nazo ke lokho akuzange kwenzeke because he knows that he only visit here for a short while bless our planet and then he will return to the glory of heaven ngoba ke wayazi kahle kamhlophe ukuthi ke uyimhambi noma uyisihambi la emhlabeni wayezele nje ukuthi ke azila azosenza ukuthi sibe ngcwele abeseke uyahamba abuyele ezulwini to many of us uh, we do not lead the life of uh, the renunciation physically or materially but inside our heart the things of the world has no longer any attractiveness after we have known the way to heaven iningi ke lethu ke seliyazi asena ndaba nobukhazikhazi bala mhlabeni ngoba siyazi ukuthi ke ikisasa lethu lisezulwini nevertheless we could live in both worlds at the same time kodwa ke yize kunjalo singakwazi ukuthi siphile kule mhlaba yombili ngesikhathi esodwa and that is the beauty of having the physical life also that we can compare to heavenly life and we can appreciate it more and that's why we are born in this physical planet ingakho ke kubalekile ke ukuthi ke nala emhlabeni kule mpilo yenyama kusabalekile ukuthi siphile ngoba siyakwazi ukuthi impilo yethu siyenze ibe mbacambile kube yala kulo mhlaba kuphinde futhi kube yale ezulwini futhi sizithokozole zombili lezi zimpilo we descend into darkness so that we will recognize the light again we will appreciate the light again we descend into suffering so that we will again enjoy bless blessedness in heaven sehlela ebumnyameni ukuze ukuthi ke sikwazi ukuthi ke sithokozele ukukhanya ezulwini simphindeke futhi ke singene la ebubini sikwazi ke ukuthi ke siphumelele futhi siphume eyinkingeni that's why no matter how many mistakes we make how much we err we are still the sons and daughters of heaven we came here just to make a comparison we come here so that we can be god again can enjoy heaven again sizela emhlabeni noma ngabe ke sona kangakanani siyazi ukuthi ke ikisasa lethu lisezulwini the reason why many of us have forgotten it because once we descend into this 
illusionary planet. There are so many things to see, so many things to do, and the pleasure of the physical existence is almost very, very attractive as compared to the ecstasy of heaven. And because we have left behind the beauty of the kingdom of God, we have left behind the security of our original home. So here we made ourselves at home. And then we have been too busy, attracted to all of these wonders, <laughs> also of the creation of God in this physical dimension, that we do not remember how to access to heaven again until we are tired, until we really could not bear any more the suffering, the injustice, the unfairness of this world, then we begin to wonder again. Siya tatega age ilo pukazi kazi noma ubu ulebe mvelo engkaba ngutogu nyege gwenzwe umuntu lobu ubuntu umuntu lobu ule esibonai sikotlo yege ngogwa se zuluin koto age gutu masesi ngene inkingeni singa sagwa zupu mama sesibona intu pego esi zunge zile bese kuba imas tabang age ngogwa pezulu ogwa se zuluin and that's when we start to want to go back home or have access to heaven. And that's when uh, God Almighty would guide us to someone who knows the key, who knows the way back home. And the Indian tradition has a saying that when the disciples already, the master appear, where is the master? Who, who is this? And the master is inside us. The master is God. The master is the vastness of the universal power and limitless love. But when, when we are in this physical body, that power has to, has to uh, be housed in another physical body or another physical instrument so that we can make contact in the beginning. Loko ge gwenzega ge gul ol tando olunga kulunya no ma ol tule na manla lawa ange nagu pela awang na pagati ogu wona asebenza na pagati gitina. Because we also have this universal power within us already. So once we remember it through another uh, physical office, physical instrument, we will again become the master of our destiny. And we will be one again, we will be one again with God, we will be the being that we originally are, before we descend into this physical planet. To access to heaven is very easy. More easy than earning money, more easy than driving car, <laughs> more easy than uh, anything that we could imagine.
Gulula ugwezula ugwe tola noma uguhola imali noma ugushaila imoto noma ngabe yini ongase uitabana. Because the Bible stated that the kingdom of God is at hand. It is so. I'm going to show you how to get back to heaven every day if you're willing to. There are three ways we can... Uh, we can do this. The first way is if you're not ready for serious <laughs> uh, research about of yourselves, then you could just uh, try a few minutes. If you want to know a little more of yourself, of heaven, then you try a little more, harder. <laughs> We're at the second grade. If you're really serious, really want to go home and have no more, no more desire to, to stay in this world again after this life, then we have the so-called initiation. We would give you instruction about an hour or half an hour so that you know what to do yourself every day. And then you become your own teacher. Ugutige uzame, ugutige ufige, noma utandazi guloko. Uma ngabe gulogo we shulega, noma unagwa zunge na gulilu pembulele lo uzame. Ufane lo ugutige ungene gule yesbili ingane. Yogutige uzame ga kulu nga mandla. Uma na lapo futu we shulega, sizo ungenya ge gule ngane yes tatuge. Ugu ugutige lapoge, ususo fago ugutige ukaliswege, ugutige ungene gule sisifundi sole si saike utate lo. Kutoa gelo kuhunge mshambe gebaksiza ugutige uchule ngogom kondo noma amizuzu engatishe ibenga mashome amatajo. But whether whether you are serious or not, we all still have a taste of heaven. Noma ngabe sizmisele, noma ngabe auzmisele, usazugua zige futige, ugua zugutige utinte ugua sizuluin. Today. Namul. After, after this lecture finish. <laughs> because heaven belongs to every of us. We must, we should know it. That's the only way that we can end all the suffering, finish all the ignorance, and know our own greatness and enjoy the bliss of heaven here and now and after and Yon, forever. Yon again the lag in the Isna Guaz, which is secret of Clupega in Clupego, no man I be in the Ogunia Ogunas Petegate, Bessegesi Pilagi, Impilo Emnand, Elandilayo, Yasazului. The people who make war, the people who have hatred, the people who inflict suffering upon others because they don't know God, because they're too far from heaven, because they have forgotten completely their origin. And we ourselves sometimes find ourselves also being very agitated about the surrounding, about the atmosphere of this world, about everything that we have to handle in daily basic, because we also far from heaven, even though heaven is right here. Right with us. Noma 
Gandhi Loko Gufanelo Gutige, no Magusta Lagutina M. Kundi. Most of the times, if we do not know God, if we do not have reconnection with the universal power, we work only with our mind, with the brain, which is just like a computer. And sometimes it works well, sometimes it's not functioning. That's why we suffer, that's why we have uh, more failure than success. That's why we have more anger than love. So we must change this way of living. Then our life will be heaven. If we use the great universal power, then of course we are stronger and wiser. But if we use just the limited power of the computer brain, then of course the difference is too great. Once we recognize our, our place in heaven, once we recognize that we are one with the universal power, one with God, then our ego is no longer there. We become one with everything. We, we, we become one with the greatest intelligence, greatest love and power of the whole universe. And that's why we can do everything and we are liberated. That is the Father that uh, our Lord Jesus has mentioned and talked to us about. I do, but not I, is my Father. Oh, yeah. you can say Mother, that, that's it. Not every spiritual master or spiritual practitioner has to suffer the way Lord Jesus did. He did that just once. But Yes, sorry. Because at that time, our worldly people were still too ignorant, and the law of this world was still as a jungle law. So it was very difficult for the Lord to spread the truth and to tell the people to wake up. But also because he was the master, he is responsible for the, the karma of all the disciples. So he had to suffer. But for most of the ordinary practitioners, we don't suffer like that. We enjoy every day. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, <laughs> We enjoy the blessing of the Father. We enjoy the blessing of the companies of all the ancient masters which still exist in the universe. We enjoy the happiness 
from samadhi, we enjoy the prosperity of even of our material existence, a better healthy condition of our body, we enjoy a better family harmony. All in all, everything in general for our practitioners are bliss. Inga koge tinage o master abe manje si tandu gutige si togozele gonge lo oko na maskata nisa na loge aguga jesu si tanda gutige si togozele uguba kona abe tanda zetu noma abomdeni si togozele uguba kona go master la baba tala si togozele impilo yetu e togozele noma e injabulo si togozele impilo noma imizimba yetu e pilile because God is merciful and we are one with God at all time, at all time, at all time. There there were only two ways to live our life. One way is live the life of the worldly existence and believing in only that existence. Another life is connected, remember, not connected, actually remember ourselves that we are one with God and look and see that we are one with God. And from that moment on, our lives change completely. It should be the way it must be. Everything that I enjoy now or ever is bestowed upon me because I seek God first. Seek you first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be given unto you. This is the only truth. And we must believe in it. Gongege engi na koge ngi gitola gungulungulu futige gonge loge na gunga paga atigimi na angi kufune nga pandi. Iyo nandle lo kufane lo guti izi ndos hambe ngayo. Sikla sazu gutige gonge lo gunga paga atigitina. Iyo nandle lo kufane lo guti be iyo na gileyo. But even then, after we reconnect or remember ourselves as a member of the kingdoms of God, even God has bestowed almost anything we want upon us. But we, our heart, we not, no, longer, no longer belong to these material possessions. We may use them for the benefit of comfort in this world or the benefit of others who need it, but our heart no longer belongs to them. Our heart will be always in the presence of God. Our heart is an altar that we worship the Lord every second of our, the rest of our uh, physical existence and after. <laughs> Ugupila gwe tuge aksa kumene na gogonke lop kazi kazi noma esibona yogusi zungezil. Tina fanele sazu gutige impilo ye tu yonke inga pagat noma siye tula kunkulunkulu ogungu ye na osiza nga kogonke nga pagati letu. Kufanele ugutige si kotwe yogonke loku wala in sabin. True worship began after we see the Lord. We have only one God. Yes. So if I just say the Lord or God, please understand that I include all the names that we have lovingly called this greatest being. Manjegi, kufanile nazi kukutike unkulunkulu mwune. If we do not see God face to face, if we do not truly know God, then of course we also believe in God, 
We heard people say that God exists, and if we pray to Him, He answers. So we know that. We have some comfort in our soul that God helps protect us and God is there. But this only emotionally, only mentally, not spiritually, not truly the taste of the real presence of God, not the direct connection, direct knowledge, direct contact with God. Gongege logu siya guazige ugutige siyezwa ugutige umangabe standards and umangabe senzani si kumanango nongkulungkul. Goto age inle logu enzega ngayo siya zugutige ago na ugutige kwenzega ngempele logu yinto e enzega ngogo moya noma ngogo mpifu mulu gunga paga atiktin ago na ugutige siya mbona noma siya mazi siya mtinta noma sinzinjana. Goto age njigi it's just like knowing you have a husband or a lover, but have never seen him. In the old time, uh, old traditions, before the marriage, the couple are not allowed to see each other. Nevertheless, they know that they're going to marry to a person. Whoever that might look like, they don't know. <laughs> but when they're married, actually, the night of the wedding, and from, from, from then on, that's a different story altogether. Similarly, knowing God is different than believing in God alone. Seeing God is truly believing. Knowing God is truly worshiping. We know what we worship. We know what we see. Ugumbona unkulunkulu agufani no gum to misa. Kotwage siyaz ugutige siam to misa is a singam bon. Ah, all right. I guess I make it short <laughs> because uh, no matter how long I speak, it's not God. Nyakabang gutige angwen ze logu nime la no mangibe fisha neng no mangibe nga mafupi. So um, it would be better that I offer you the, the real experiences in case you really want that. Do you? <laughs> Okay, we, uh, if you have any more questions, please uh, write it down. I'll answer to you. And for those who are already clear, uh, you can go out and register your name, and later we call you for initiation. And for those people who cannot be fully vegetarian, uh, they could have convenient method. And for those who could not even be sure of these two, <laughs> uh, non-vegetarian at all, uh, then never mind. Uh, just stay here and after this section, I will also show you a taste of heaven. And you could enjoy that every day also if you practice again and again. Ogzo wenze rage manje ugutige aba ne mbuzo bazo ipala panzi mbuzo yenu nizamu gu ipendu. Besege guti la baba nyege ben asebe kakelu Bagwazige ugutige bahambe baye ngaphandle lapha ya ekubhaliswa khona babhalisa amagama abo bazwa beke sebe qala ke ukuthike kubangene kulokuqalisa ukukufundisa ke kodwa ke bese kuba khona ke laba beni mhlambeke abasadinga ukuthi baqaciselwe kahle hle bona ke bangasala la sikwazike ukuthike sibasizeke thank you is that zulu language yebo yes very sweet very sweet <laughs> You, you have been really very, very attentive. 
Thank you so much. If you have any question, please bring it here. I answer quickly, and then we move to the the next. Uh, Pastor Please read the first one. Yes. First question is. Yes. Yes. What is transmission? How does it work, and how is it beneficial in one's spiritual practice? In the wordy language, it's short of anything that I can explain this. So we have to just call it transmission, as if uh, as if uh, an electric uh, line transmit to another one, as if a candle transmit the light to another candle. The God within you will be awakened through another awakened God within someone else. That's called the transmission. Just for the sake of <laughs> explanation. Otherwise, there's nothing physically that happens during the so-called initiation, your God will be awakened just by silence. There is something, but invisibly. God himself work through the God within you, reconnect himself to himself, all right? So there's nothing really transmitted. Just in the worldly language, we're short of all kinds of spiritual terms. Basically, the transmission is ugly. It's a lega go 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 into the local neighborhood type of teen. So, see, my say pendula uti ene u u u tata eni do go go yugisa go go ni lapo u tete lapo u gezi ni le kaluti ne kuna uvusele lega kulogo ekfune uvusele kon. This question is, Master. I would like to know that if I have been initiated before, will it interfere with the meditation on any breathing technique that I am already practicing? Should I be initiated again? If you have uh, studied similar method of other school from other master, then you just stay there. You have no need to be initiated again. But if uh, you have not uh, meditated on the heavenly light and the heavenly melodies, then you could uh, try our way, but just one way at a time, no mixing, okay? First, we don't have time. Second, riding on two bicycles is a little dangerous. <laughs> And then man is saying to her, this is food of a man, who never could have been a gilly in a no man, never a cuban in lab, a cuban uban in a cotta utina, local Ungawe, Gaga Uwans, Uguen, the Ulapo, Sutolacon is food of Saco, Unga Salaxona, Loso was told alone down, got a la Unga Salunga Sansa Tatanga, this was food. Master, do you believe that you have a direct link with God? And if you do, can you pass this link into your disciples? Yeah, I do. La pa kubu zote ne ingabe uyabonti ne unako umana kasi nukuluku na umangabe unako ngabe uyabodu kumeni na umabu unge na ko ngabe unga chela abalandel ba kula uguti ne peku kore nukumana na. It has been proven. By, by hundreds of thousands already. Yebogu kona lok and the Gwienjega and Gabunagal and Giz tail of Bantu Bonga and Seven Chile. So I don't just believe it, I know it. Aga Kole Log Logota Uyagwazi Ugozo in an apparatic call. Master, there are three questions here. What do you meditate about? How do you find peace in pain? Injustice and persecution? How and where do you get initiated? I think the, the first question and the second question has been answered already. So the middle question is this. Peace 
has always been our nature. And because we have forgot that, we feel that we have no peace, no matter how much possession we have, no matter in which situation we are. So we have to remember this inborn peace again, and that's all there is. That's why Jesus, in the face of death and suffering, he does not feel troubled. He does not run away. He said, Father, how much you glorify me, how you glorify me. You see, that is the peace that we should remember. Uh, Etene ekuluma kat epe se guban etene gebu uktula magu indo e indalo and no klupega footi winda e corner em zimbeni mundu ngako minangiak chablela loko. When we remember this peace, we will know that everything that happens happens under his will. We will see clearly why these things happen and for what benefit. It's not the way it looks. The victims are not always the victims. They are sometimes circumstances that people are, we, the greatest being within us, created for ourselves, for our own progr progress. There is truly no victims. If we ascend to heaven, see the working order of the universe, we will never again complain about God. Never again, one moment of our life, being ungrateful to any situation at all. Kuko gonge uklung mezeg, numa goba klung mezegile. Unkunukulu ya si kumbuza, numa uya sa zisa ekteni kuko gonge ogwe ntagala, gonge gwe ntenga, pante gankulungulu. And konge unendalo yako, konge kuya zenzege na ngakoge. Tina kumene nje sipela, sikuwa zine si kune, si se mtenda zwe nje kune, si zilile ngokom ondo, si zilile futi kukogonge. In the scripture, holy scripture, it is stated that even one hair falls out of your head, <laughs> that is his will. So remember this. No man ever gets Bugala, no was in Palin, a pipeline, em, not in a ten well, a spugagiona, Gashal a pair of Gutige, no man abege unjani, no man abegu corner, is sick to own us, or no man abege gue or got on a guena, Magunjalo, we as a Gutige, who is Talas Gankulunculu is a Gunjalo. When will the golden age start? It start right here. Any time you wish, from today, <laughs> for yourself. But I understand, I understand what you mean. There are two kinds of golden age. One kind is individual golden age, at any time, at any age. Another kind is that the whole planet Consciousness has changed together into a higher consciousness level. At that time, the whole planet, or almost the inhabitants of this planet, will enjoy similar uh, consciousness of bliss. And that is when we call the golden age of this planet. Otherwise, for us, every one of us, we can have golden age any time if we reconnect, remember God again. Yeah, Besege umkati nomage umhlaba lo espila guona osuzungezili. Uba neindela ezningi ezenzeganga. Gotwa ge 
leyo into eyenzeka emcabangweni yethu noma emqondweni wethu kodwa ke kwiningi lethu le ndlela le eyona eyokuqala yona ejwayelekile ukungukuthi ke yenzeka noma ngabe yinini la isikhathi ofuna ukuthi kube yisona How how does celibacy help realize God? Oh, everything helps realizing God, provided our sincerity and intensity is behind is the motive behind our purpose behind our action. Actually, uh, how, what does it say? Celibacy? Mm. Yes, yes. I mean up. Abstain, abstinence from uh, sexual activities, yes. It does help in the beginning, provided you can stand it. <laughs> if not, it will be a waste of time and energy, and you struggle every day just for that. Instead of remembering, remembering God, you remember remembering things that you try to avoid. So it is up to individual. The way you choose to walk, is it all right to be celibate or is it all right to be married? Yes, it depends on your karma, your destiny, your will, and the path you had, that you have chalked for yourself to walk before your birth, before you have chosen to descend into this world. You have chalked your way of life. So you walk differently. It doesn't mean being a bachelor is more close to God or being a married is further to God. Each one walk his own way. Each one is different because each one is God, individualized. He knows what he's doing, even though now he has chosen to forget so that he can start again, you see. So it's up to you. See how you can deal with your situation. That is how you have chalked your path of life. In the lake, the Utige, Yogutige, Umuntuge, Angabi, no Muntu, Ashate, Noma, Angai, Otansin, no Muntu, Gutala, Ekalin, Moba, Umbuzia, Buzguti, Gutala, and Nugutu Muntu, Azati, and Arafun, Guti, as mine, and Noma Abbe, no Munu Mund, Utige, Gutala, Ekalin, Futige, Loku, Gupuma, Gwen, and Apagat. Wena oz kete lai. Agu ushuguti ge uma ngabe mina. Nke tuguti ngibe always lisa unga shadile. Ugu ushuguti mtambe ngea sondela. Noma ngekelene nungkulu nkulu. Noma uma ngabe mina. Nke tuguti ge ngibe umuntu ugu ushadile. Noma ngishadile. Loko gese gusho uguti ge nisondelene. Noma ngekelene nungkulu nkulu. Ha. Agu njalo. Into nje ufanele wazu uguti ge umuntu upila ngale ondlela. Afisa uguti ge apile ngayo. We are not all getting along. We are not 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 getting along. We why does God take very long to answer one's prayers? No, it doesn't take long. It's our thinking of separation from Him that takes long. It is the time factor of this physical dimension that it makes seem long. I will explain. I will explain. Umbuzo ge utige gugani unkulunkulu atate gaate ugu pendula imbuzo yetu. Pendula ge itika agunja lunkulunkulu agatati skate sito ugu pendula imbuzo yetu. Gwonke logo guse mkabangu enu yetu. Iti ina iskabanga uguti unkulunkulu utata iskate so pendula. Gepa ye na kaneze agatati skate sito ugu pendula imtanda zo yetu. In order to experience the physical existence as we do now, we as God before, have we, when we were in heaven, with one with God, as God, we have created 
time and space in this planet, in this physical existence, so that we can experience the separation from God, so that we can reunite to God again and enjoy the bliss again. And that's how it goes on for eternity. We have forever create new dimensions, new experiences, so that we can remember God again as God and as the creation of God. So, when we are in this dimension, there is time and space. And that's how things take time to manifest, take space to materialize. Inga koge la bega ugutige umanga bese sfuna usizo osulbona yote na ugungolola imshabin sisugesi sisi ngasakaba ugutige lo gogo se zulu ingaleskati sisi se zulu inisi nongkulungu lungo gumtaba ngo iti ina ba nduko bo esa ozakela ugutige sake iskati esikona sipinde futige sake nomkati noma iskal manje ugutige umasesi la imshabin. Sizame ya ugutige si kalela nise no nkulu nkulu ngoba iti na pede saza kela li isi askati ugutizo kela no nkulu nkulu futige iti na ese za kela ugutige gube neskala no ma gube nekebe giti na ge no nkulu nkulu koto wage gonke lo gusa kwenza uguze ugutige si tige umasesi langane no masesi buyela gu nkulu nkulu umagate sesi kele nenaye gube uklangana ugu inja abulo no gune ndogozo Sipira e katini eza sluga slugeni ezi ngafan. Koto wage okusa mkoga ugutige. Itina esa za kela lo mkati noma ikebe eliko na paratugwe tuna ngulu ngulu. In heaven, everything is together. Even though everything is together in one time, one space. There's no separation ever. For example, I have all the flowers here. So how long does it take for them to be together? No time. They're already together, all the time. But if I take one flower out of this and put it over there, and now this flower, wish this flower to rejoin them, how long it takes? Take maybe one second. You see, this is the dimension that we live in. Everything is separated by time and space. It is because our creative mind have wanted it that way. Now we have forgotten that we created it. We have forgotten. Never mind. You will remember if you practice Kuan Yin method, meditation. You will remember everything. Who you are, why things happen to you, what you have created, why they come to you, because you have created. That's why I said before, no victim ever. Everything happened to us, we created it for our best purpose. Even though we don't see it now because we have forgotten. We have chosen to forget. Gonke ge lo kuge umasik bugag ezuluini akshugen imba lilez ezila pamguam umanga bengzo tata le imba le yoto le ni shuganis kung tati skates ngarana nugu tini tata le imba ni bege kelen besege ni ay tata futi le imba le ni buisel ni ngat msa bege kelen imba lez ezini imba ziafi sugu tige se ngati le ne ngasonde la na noma ibe naz. Kutoa ge umasa ingita ndugu tini bui said kungtata ingita tini shono mzuzo watu na mau mzuzwa na ugu tige ibui elilembad gunja lo ge ge na la mshabi ni ngoba iti na esaka lom katilo ugu tige izindo mazishuga ni saki neskala na mau ikebe neskat kutoa ge ezului ni agunja lo agushuga ni gonge ge lo kuge be patient at the time of death. You will see this, even you don't practice Kuan method. You will see that whatever you wish come immediately because it's always there. You're always with everything. Everything is always with you. At that time, we already transcend time and space. At the time of our transit between, uh, from this world to so-called heavenly world, we have transcended the time and space. This body is the instrument that activates time and space. And that's why things we wish for don't 
seem to come immediately. For example, in heaven, if you want to go somewhere, you just think and you're there right away, immediately. More, more than the, the, the speed of light. And that's why our heavenly beings, or the people who, who die, they are careful what they think. They must know. They should not think anything that is not good because anything they think come materialize right in front of them. But here, for example, if I wish for a car, it takes time. A car is somewhere over there, not here. I have to make money first, and then I have to go over there and ask for the price, sign the paper, and drive the car home. See, for example, like that. So if you would sit here and wish for a car, God also cannot <laughs> bring it right away. It takes time. See? Yeah. So we feel that God doesn't answer our prayer. He always does. It just comes later or now. It depends on situation. that's why in all the religious scriptures it is advised that we should keep our speech, uh, our action, and our thought pure at all time because whatever we think, whatever we wish for, bad, good, will come sooner or later. But because we have this physical body blind us from all the reality, blind us from all the truth. So we think whatever we do, whatever we think in darkness, nobody know. <laughs> Everything will come back. Hence, all the commandments of Christian, Buddhist, Hinduism, Islam, Jainism, every religion tell you just to do good things, think good things, because whatever you, you do, whatever you think, it come back to us. It's very scary when you know how the law of cause and effect works. Very scary. If we truly see these things, we will never, we will be more and more and more careful about what we think and what we do. And Master, you do not speak of hell. What are your comments? I do not speak of hell. 
Oh, we, I think all of us know about it. Why should I talk about hell? We are Buzagi, Laugutig, Gungani, Anga, Kulumi, Nala, and Pilolea, Yasis Hawkwin. Tige Agazu Kulumanga, I see Kisting on over Sonke, Sias, Gutigu, you see in his hawk. Heaven is a rare gift I would like to offer. Hell we see everywhere already in this planet also. No need to mention, no? Is hawk or Sitalis is born and so goes on, Gela, I'm Shabby, and I see Kisting or so good to get Sis Kulumanga, Ganti, Logo was a Zuluin, a good joy, Legi, Luke Fanel and Kulumanga, Guzu, Gutaban to Bagwas. Whenever we want to strike our neighbors, <coughs> that's hell. Whenever we inflict suffering on somebody else in different means, that is hell. Or whenever someone else do that to us, it is hell. Whenever we rise any negative thought about somebody else, that is hell too. We create it all the time if we're not careful with our thought. Logo gu is hog. Umang I begin if Funu good thing is you so moon top song, logo gu is hog. Futumang I begin ends a ogu be conquer gu is hog. This is not a question, but a very wonderful note. <coughs> a person by the name of Helen says, Dearest Master Ching Hai, please give me personally a big hug. I will be so grateful. Who Thank you it? so much for coming to South Africa. Who Love, is that? Helen. <laughs> Oh, Helen. Come here. Oh, Helen, we are telling you that we are going to get our own master. We are going to get our own I just hug one person symbol, symbolic for Africa, okay? Not everybody wants to come here hug. We don't have time. <laughs> Master, what is your secret to successful meditation? Sincere desire. Oyabuza ge guti ge yini enzu guti upumelele uma uchula ngomkond manje ge guti ge ilogo gufi sa guangempel. There is no secret. When we are ready, we just do it. Just like when you are hungry, you just eat. It's no secret. I call him Fisog Guloko, no man, Fana, no man, a bullambil, Mulambil, Uvelul, Nala, Omanga, Bege, Office of Wens, a log, Uvelu Wens, I think him fish. That's why all the teachers of old time, they never force people to follow them or learn anything because they know it, it is not the things that you should, could force people or train them to. It's just the thing that you're hungry when somebody. Block your nose like this. What do you need? Air. So when you're so hungry for God, that's all you want. It's natural phenomena. It's no secret. Yinga koge no tisha lavak dala ge bona ge babenga force bampo kumutu guti ezek bon wai be zize no manga be mchana be ngi njumo wai into itinga yino yin umpe fumu. No man, I beg you, Fununculunculu, in Tokfanelu and Zenjege, Ugutige, Ubenai, Noma, Umting, then Uzum told. But uh, there is a helpful, helpful way, such as if you know the way to concentrate, it's also easy for you, and later it becomes like habit. You don't even need to concentrate. You see God all the time, anytime. Even when you're singing, when you're driving, when you think of somebody else like oh my friend he lost some money or something yesterday and then God's also there anytime you concentrate on something God will be there and now every time we want to concentrate we just doesn't know how we couldn't but at that time will be automatic yeah <laughs> 
Noma ngabu ya shayela, noma ngabu nzinja, unkulu unkulu ushala enawe nga soso ngiskat. Next one. Is there a basic difference between prayer and meditation, or are they the same? Meditation is the deepest prayers and the truest because we have direct result immediately. During, uh, because when we praise, we talk, we, we demand, please God, do this, do that, give me this, give me that. But when we meditate, we don't demand anything. We let His will be done. And we also have the way to direct contact with Him, so we are listening instead of talking. Because God knows before we ask what we want. He's God, isn't He? So we just listen. That's meditation. We just sit there and let Him tell us what to do. And that's how meditation is. Yeah. Is there a specific moment or time when one feels that one has established a connection with God? Is there some kind of spiritual vibration or feeling of aura around one or within one? Yes, when you feel God's presence, you do feel it, you know it. Of course you must know. For example, for example, during initiation, you see the light of God, then you know. And you hear the voice of God, the melodious, heavenly teaching of God, then you know. There's no mistake about this. Just like you're listening to me now, you hear my voice, is there any mistake? You doubt that I'm here or not here? Is that clear? Yeah. Ufiso wazi kuti kukona yini nige umesugo lap. Ukono kuzwayi umangabukuma na nkulu nkulu. Noma isaine tilo ibonai. Utiebo ikoni. Kufana noma ngabege usu ya lapaya ukala ngale ifundo za kilezige. Uza izu ilika nkulu nkulu. Upindege uze no msindo otil. Kunje ngami njongo ba nkulu mala. Ngabe nangabaza yini kuti kulu mamini. We could, uh, we could have this God's presence and God's connection every day. I mean, after initiation, we just know how, and it's more easy. That's all. You can ask our elder brothers and sisters who has practiced already, then you, they tell you. Not just one moment, every moment. Master, I am already initiated by another master, but I have difficulty with meditation. Do you have any suggestions? When one closes one's eyes and focuses, what is supposed to happen? Oh, man. Oh, God. <coughs> then you're not even there yet. Oh, my God. Come back to your master. Get initiated again. Ask him. Stay with him. Meditate with him for a while. Then you improve. Maybe there's a mistake because you say you're initiated already and you still don't know what happened during meditation. You should see the light of God and hear the music of heaven. That's what happens. You should see Jesus or Buddha, Muhammad, the old masters of any kind. You might see your own master inside teaching you further instructions about better way of life, better way to heaven. 
these things will happen during meditation. And if you still don't know that, that means you're not initiated or maybe it's a different kind of meditation that it did not work well with you. Maybe you should find another way, yeah? Mhlambe kwaba khona iphutha elenzeka kuwena ngoba ke uma ngabe ke usoqalisiwe la ukujula ngokomqondo ufanele ukuthi ke ubone ukukhanya uze nomculo wasezulwini kodwa uma ngabe uthi wena okakuza konke lokho ha usenkingeni kufanele ukuze konke lokho This is just an example of what happened there are thousand millions things more okay just example Lezi ke ngisisho izibonelo nje kuphela zezinto ozibonayo ziningi ngabe izinto ezenzayo Master, how important is reading holy books? It's only as important as it inspired you to know more about the real experience that the book is written about. And after that, you have to know the real experience, not reading it. For example, just you read the manual, or you read the letter of a friend, yesterday I eat this and that, it was wonderful. But that is as far as important as that it inspired you to go to that restaurant to eat the same thing. <laughs> but if you do not go there and eat, then the letter is just a letter, the menu is just a menu. Umbozo ke uthi kubaleke kanjani ke ukuthi ke ufunde izincwadi ezingcwele. Impendulo ukuthi ke kufanele ukuthi ube nogcozi noma ke nenjisekela. Fanele noma ngabe ulambile ufuna ukuthi ke ufunde imenyu e-restaurant fanele ube nayo lugozi lokuthi uyifunde noma ngabe yini into ifuna ukuthi ube nogozi lwayo How can a believer in God prove to a non-believer that there is a God a supreme being the ultimate truth I can prove it Just stay behind I prove it to you I cannot show him here because God, uh, uh, in a different aspect, is abstract. But I can prove it to you. Yeah, I can show you inside. He will appear. Umbuzo gutige umesugo parati gomuntu okoloayo nonga kola gunkulunkulu unja noma imub futige unga kunsegi sa gelug yebo utumasta anga kunsegi sa uzokombi sa umange unga sala imvagwa loko uzokombi sa. There are two ways to prove God's existence. The easiest way is this. And look at yourself. Who made you? You think you fall out from thin air? If you have a baby, there is a mother and a father, right? So there's so many things in this universe. Doesn't that prove enough to you that there is a creator somewhere? All right, maybe he's hidden. But I can show him to you also, the hidden one. But the materialized one is us. When God manifests in the material ways, this is us. This is God who sits here. This is God who made this happen. All right? But God as a power, as an invisible love, pervasive blessing, that we have to go inside in the invisible passage way in order to see. And if we want to see material God here everywhere, behind you, beside you. <laughs> All right? Gulula ke ukubona lo kunendlela ezimbili okokuqala yilo ke sikubonayo ukusizunge zile njengale imbali beka David. Noma ngabe thina ngesithina sigqusethu. Ucaba ngikuthi wena waqhama kabi. Uma ngabe kube khona kufanele kube nengane zoba khona. Umama no Baba Fanele Basang and Inga no Guzizan. Go to Agabesa Conagi logo fish again. He logo gang was good in a combi salon. Go to Agabu Lula, Ugutiga Utole, logo always into a sis bonai, Augustus Zil. Dear Master Ching Hai, thank you for coming to South Africa. It was God's will. I hope your message will stop the crime in our country. I hope to have the honor of shaking your hand. Ms. from Bharat. Who is that? We are born again, or Ugutige, O Master Ezela in Ningism, Africa, Ufis and Azuti and Agi Am Kaule, O Master, O Saya Buzag, O Master Gutige, Uba Nigel, Ufis Gutam Kaule. 
It is reported to me this afternoon that uh, the violence toward women has decreased almost to nothing during this week. Thank you very much for so good for you like it. Gufile gufiki leke endlebeni ka master ukuthi ke ukuhlukunyezwa kwabe sifazane kwehlile secishe kube yize ngabe lokho kuliciniso That's the first question second question I shake hands with people all the time it's just that not always practical because <laughs> too many people Okwesibilike ukuthi ke ngivamile ukuthi ngibaqhawula abantu kodwa ukuthi abantu basuke baye banengi kakhulu uh, like yesterday, I, we were in Johannesburg. I went around, shake everybody's hand as far as I can before the lecture. But today you made such a beautiful, impressive dance. I was mesmerized. I forgot my job. <laughs> Thank you, anyhow, for your love. <laughs> if all is under his will, why seek initiation and liberation? Because this is also his will. <laughs> I do not say all of you have to do it. I'm here just for the one who are ready. And the one who are ready, that means his will has ordained them to do that. All right? I go to the should a person or can a person have more than one master? Uh, of course, you can have as many masters as you want, but what for? Umbuzo <laughs> utige. One physical master is enough to take you into the higher dimension. Then you study with many masters there too. Jesus, Buddha, whomever you like. Or the, or the physical master who is also inside. Most uh, masters teach the same thing. Even, for example, for example, if a master teaches a Kwaning method and another teaches also a Kwaning method, both masters teach you the same thing. So there is no need to uh, go from one master to another. Devotion to one master is very, very helpful to your spiritual practice. After all, the master wants to show you that you are the master. That's the purpose of having a master in the first place, not to seek many masters like a collection. How can I keep my spiritual contact with God unbreakable? After initiation, it never breaks. How can you help us to become vegetarian? No, 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 I cannot help you. 
I can only eat one or two meals a day. I cannot eat more for you. Sorry. <laughs> Master, who is God? Why did God create the universe with all that it contains? Who is God? <laughs> you go inside, ask him. Why? I have explained already in the beginning that we, we ourselves were God and one with God and we have chosen a God in us, or God has chosen that we separate it in different individualities in order so that we can have multiple experiences of God and colorfully enjoy the creation. You see? If we just stay one together with God all the time as, okay, as a lump like this, there's nothing happening. You see? That's why the creation begins, so that we can enjoy. Suppose the only me here, <laughs> and you are not present. What do I do here? No interaction, no, no experience, no love flowing between each other. We cannot know what God's love is if we are God. We have to be separate for, from God in order to enjoy the God that we are or the God that is. We are present. Why is it so difficult to get rid of negative thoughts and feelings? Yeah. It's habit. Next time, whenever you think negative thought, you replace immediately with the, con con with the contrary thought. Anytime you remember, do that until it becomes a habit again. Everything is just a habit. Everything is just a habit. It will be easy once you try again, again, and again. We are because I eighteen and Gavin and Pella Gwenzagalan eighteen. Does God hear me when I pray? And how do I know if God has heard me? Lastly, have you seen God? If you have, how does it feel? Hmm. Yes. Why don't you join the initiation and then you know how does it feel? How can I explain to you when I'm in love with somebody else the love I feel or the love he has for me? You see, you have to have your own experience of God because if God can be described in human language, we don't need to seek him. If God can be told by another person, then we don't need to know him. Because this experience of God is one of the most wonderful things that would happen in your life. So only you will know it. The more we talk about God, the more I feel I am very frustrated. <laughs> Of course I see God. That's why I can show you. So that you yourself can also see. Why does ethnic diversity exist in this dimension? Why do we have so many flowers, different kind? That's why. 
umbuzo uthi ke kungani sibe nezizwe ezihlukene mpendule ke uthi ke kungani ke sibe neimbali iningangaka ezingahle ezihlukene ingafani yafani into efana yoke leyo God is very artistic very multi talented very beautiful very colorful so he created us like that unkulunkulu ke fanele sazi ukuthi ke unawo wonke amathalente futhi ke unobukhoni noma ubunqoni ubunyoningi so ke uyakwazi ukuthi enze konke lo kafisa ukuthi akwenze just like many flowers to please us different varieties for a colorful life ngendlela imbali ezisithokozisa ngayo imbala eyahlukahlukene esithokozisayo you see anything wrong with that ngabuboni khona into enkinga lapho Should it be only one color? Should God create only one? Boring, yellow like me? Ufunukulunkule nzumbalo wodwa nje kuphela oyelo fana nami. Hmm? Should everybody look exactly like me? Ufuna wonke umuntu afane nami. You think it will be interesting? Ngaba ngikuthi lokho kuzoba mnandi? Yes or no? Yebo noma cha. Yeah, now you answer yourself. Yeah, so siziphendulile ke. To be in contact with God. Could this happen instantly by practice? Instantly at the time of initiation and any time at home later. Ukuthi ke uchumane ngqo noma ngokushesha ngokulunkulu kungenzeka lokho thi yebo ke kungenzeka uma ngabe ke usuzoqala ukuthi ke ufundiswe ngale imfundiso zethu ke. I will show you how to concentrate, how to calm your mind and then you see God. So you can do that at home. Can one eventually possess the power to materialize and create things? Yes. You can and you create things all the time. You create things all the time. Any time you think of something, you create something. And that thing will come to you sooner or later. Yebo ke ngingaba nawo amandla ukuthi ke ngibone ubukhoni. Yebo ungakwenza lokho noma ngabe yinini. That's why uh, we should be careful with what we think. Because if we think good things, it will come to us also. If we think about bad things, it will come to us also. Suppose we think about many good things that we want to possess and then we die at that instant. And then all the things that we have created and desire have not come to our fulfillment. So we have to reborn again to enjoy them. And that's why all the the master advise us that we should not uh, concentrate on material possession but put our our property in heaven. Yeah? That means we should concentrate in God's kingdom and do not mind too much about material possession. Ingakho kubalekile ukuthi ke siqikelele indlela esicabanga ngayo ngoba kwesinesikhathi uma sicabanga ngezinto ezimbi siye senze ukuthi sikhohlweke izinto ezimbi manje kubalekile ukuthi sehlale esicabanga ngalezinto lezi ezindle ukuze sikhohlwe ngalezinto ezimbi bese ke ingakho futhi bese sekufanele ukuthi ke sife noma zife le micabango emibi ukuze sikwazi ukuthi ke sizalwe kabusha sixhumane nenkulunkulu That's why we should not bother to learn magical powers and materialize things because we already have creative power all the time in our life. If if for example, if for example you die now in this instant, then you will understand exactly what I say because when you leave this limited prison, you'll be free and your spirit will be everywhere at the same times or many places at the same times and anything 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 absolutely that you want will come to you right away just because when we have this physical body we could not see that that's why we are careless about what we think what we want we are not uh, very in control of our mind if we know everything we think will come to us we will be very careful about what we think yengakho ke kungenasidingo ke noma kungabalekile ukuthi ke sifunde ngokwenza imlingo ngoba izinto zala emhlabeni kodwa ke uma ngabe ke sicabanga ngokwale ezulwini yonke into esiyifunayo iyenzeka noma ngabe yisiphi isikhathi sivele siyicabange ibe siyenzeka is your entire life determined by god 
or are you master of your own destiny? Everything is determined by God. All right? Umbuzo uti ke impilo yakho ilawula uNkulunkulu na impendulo ithi yebo nize nge umaster yonke into ilawula uNkulunkulu. But yet again, you are God. So you are the master of your destiny also. Kodwa ke futhi uNkulunkulu uwena manje kusho ukuthi ke uwena olawulayo. All right. Thank you very much for your love and your attention.